Success doesn't happen by accident. But if you want it bad enough, work hard, and are willing to give up those negative habits that hinder you, you will get it. Hi everybody, this is Life with Leonard and welcome to another episode. Now on this channel, I strive to motivate and inspire you to become the best version of yourself. And today's episode is definitely no different. I'm going to be sharing with you the five things if you want to be successful in life. Now I know that success means different things to different people. And what I want you to understand from the get-go is stop comparing yourself to other people. You know, there will always be someone better at something than you. Comparison is the thief of joy. Don't let the success of other people discourage you from your own endeavors or make you bitter, but rather let it inspire you and be an indicator that you too can achieve great things. But before we get to today's episode, can I kindly ask you, if you haven't, to please subscribe to my channel, to like this video, to share it, and leave your comments in the comment section below. It's easy to subscribe. You can just hit that subscriber button in the bottom right hand corner of your screen. And please remember to hit the all notifications and that way you will be notified and you won't miss out whenever I upload new videos. So number one is stop making excuses. And yeah, I want to give it to you straight up because somebody needs to tell you this. You know, if you are looking for an excuse, you will find one. And if you want to be successful in life, you need to take ownership of your own life, your own fears and your own failures and stop blaming other people. Stop waiting for your circumstances to change before you do. You know, I know the mind is extremely powerful and I did an episode on, on five things, powerful ways to stop negative thinking. And I'll leave a link to that episode in the description below, or you can just click on the pop-up banner. It'll take you to that episode. But don't go there now. And the reason I, I allude to that episode is because I know negative thinking is also something that, that, that you often battle with, but you need to overcome. You know, even the Bible teaches us, it says that guard your heart diligently against all things, for out of it flows the issues of life. So it's all up here. If you want to be successful, take it from me, you need to eradicate negative thinking. Now by that I'm not saying that, that you won't have a tendency or won't have negative thoughts. I mean that's just not human. But what you need to understand is that your mind is a garden. Your thoughts are seeds and you can grow flowers or you can grow weeds. And trust me, it will always be one of the two. But you have the power, you have the ability to overcome that and to manipulate your mind. Trick it. Trick your brain so that it will stop making excuses. It will be focused on the positive side. Stop blaming and complaining and making excuses. Although it's not easy, but taking ownership of your problems will ultimately allow you to gain more control over your life. When you start to take responsibility for your actions, you will start to grow as a person. And this is how you keep on growing and ultimately it leads to a successful life. And number two is give up your need to control everything. You know, I can talk about this one all day, but, but we don't have all day. Someone once told me, he said that he is a control freak. But what I can share with you, he was also a stress freak. You know, some things are up to us and some things are not up to us. And if you want to be successful in life, you need to learn and grasp that concept as soon as possible. Otherwise, you will bury yourself under the weight of your own disappointment, your own stress, and all those other things which is not good for your development and which is not good for your life, neither for your success. You need to learn to delegate. You need to learn to trust and to let go. You know, you need to manage your life better. And asking for help is not a sign of weakness as much as refusing help is not a sign of strength. Taking responsibility for your actions is one thing, but no one is meant to take on every job, every role and every responsibility. You will overburn yourself. 
Everything does not revolve around you. If you want to alleviate stress and become more successful in life, you need to learn the art of delegation. And number three is have passion. If, if you want to be successful in life, you have to possess a passion for what you do. You, you know the old saying, if, if you love what you do, you never have to work a day in your life. I mean, you can't expect to be successful if you don't have a passion for what you are doing. You know, and, and a passion is, is, the, is the one thing. If you still wonder what your passion is, your passion is the one thing that comes naturally to you. It is your default setting. It's almost like in your DNA, running through your veins. Like, it's just there. You would know. It's the thing that makes you tick. It's the thing that makes you excited. You, you don't need to be motivated. You, you just go into that zone almost instantaneously. And, and that is your passion. And you need to search for that. And you don't search for a passion somewhere out there. It, you search for it within. You know, my passion, as you guys have picked up, is people. I love people. I love inspiring people, motivating and encouraging people, helping them and uplifting them and, and, and helping them to become the best version of themselves. So, so to do this, these videos that I've been doing now for since May last year, it, 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 it is not a strain. I just love doing it. It, it comes naturally to me. And as I'm speaking to you now, I'm not getting paid for this, but I love it. But don't be fooled. Success is achieved by putting in the work. You know, I can't just come stand here and just blow bubbles. I mean, and not add value to your life. Success, if you want to be successful, you have to be committed. You have to be dedicated. You have to be persistent. It, it doesn't just happen. Whatever you decide you want to accomplish, make sure you dedicate yourself to it 100%. And be good at whatever it is you set your mind to. Invest your time and energy every single day to develop your mind in what you want to be successful in. Find out what you're passionate about and make sure you put in the work to be the best at it. Stay focused. With so many distractions in our everyday lives, it is very important for you to stay focused on your goal. Keep your attention on what you want rather than allowing distractions to get in the way and take you off course. Keep your focus and success will be the byproduct. And number four is push yourself. You know, there's no use you blasting out of the blocks only to give up or to slow down to almost walking pace after the first kilometer. People often use the phrase, life is a marathon and not a sprint. And in theory, it makes sense in terms of time. A marathon takes longer and a sprint is very short. Meaning when applied to life, great things take time. So don't rush it. Just like in life or in your career, it's easy to start a project or commit to finishing something on a deadline. However, there's a lot that happens in between the start and the finished product. Similarly, running a marathon puts you through a wave of emotions from signing up for the race to crossing the finish line months later. You need to make sure that you push yourself every single day to keep at it. You need to push through all your limiting beliefs that you have about yourself. Whether it be shyness or lack of confidence, get yourself out there. Keep pushing forward even when your doubt kicks in. Understand what your insecurities are and make sure that you overcome them by pushing forward. What separates a successful person from an unsuccessful person is the ability to pushing themselves outside their comfort zones and being committed to success. And last but not least, if you want to be successful in life, you need to be persistent. You know, in the battle between the river and the rock, the river always wins, not by strength, but by being persistent. And you need to be a river, bending, sometimes powerful and strong, sometimes just a trickle, but always moving, always moving forward, an unstoppable life force. So even when things get tough, keep on going. Don't stop. Don't give in. Commit yourself every single day to accomplish your goal. It's easy to just give up when you have a day that was not what you expected to be. But no matter what happens, continue to have persistence and know that you're developing even when you fail. You will experience failures, 
but know that experiencing them are also a great stepping stone to success. Don't procrastinate. Procrastination is a nasty habit on its own. It's unproductive, frustrating, and it leaves you anxious for no good reason. It's all-encompassing, and it can root in any area of your life. The only way to achieve real change is from within. Life unfolds from the inside out. Your circumstances will change when you do, not the other way around. So let me end off the way that I started. And that is that success doesn't happen by accident. But if you want it bad enough, if you work hard, and if you are willing to break those negative habits that hinder you, you will get it. Thank you so much, everybody, for once again joining me on today's episode. If this episode was of value to you, can I kindly ask you, if you haven't, to please subscribe to my channel, to like this video, to share it, and leave your comments in the comment section below. It's easy to subscribe. You can just hit that subscribe button in the bottom right hand corner of your screen. And please remember to hit the all notifications and that way you will be notified and you won't miss out whenever I upload new videos. Thank you so much and I will see you soon. Bye for now.